Usually in August, tomato plants start to get really tall. A little bit too high for what I want as well. So I'll start and cut them back a little bit. Because I don't want them to keep producing more and more flowers, making more and more fruits that are never going to get time to ripen. So I tend to concentrate more on the fruits that I've already got. So on some plants that are growing way too tall, like these ones, I'll start and cut the tops off them. And give these existing tomatoes more time to grow bigger and riper. And while at the same time, in August, as your fruit does start and ripen, you're going to come across the odd problem, like blossom end rot. And it starts off like that. And it's basically the walls of your fruit breaking down due to lack of calcium. We've also got the same thing happening on a tomato as well. But you don't need to panic, it's just a deficiency that you can fix quite easily. And of course not everybody has got some calcium tablets in their house or some feed that's got large amounts of calcium in to give that plant a quick boost before things get any worse. But I tend to adopt a slightly different approach if I want to get something done quick as I can. And that's milk. Because this milk contains 28% calcium. And obviously it's in liquid form so it can get right into the root system and help fix that plant's problem straight away. But you never want to use full fat milk and you never want to use milk as one part. You need to dilute it down. And you want to dilute it to 50 to 70%. So 50% milk, 50% water, 70% milk, 70% water. Just so it's diluted. And then you can add this directly to your peppers and your tomatoes and give them that quick calcium boost that they're desperate for. And I just use an old bottle made an old in top. So then it's just a case of watering around the base of your plant with milk and letting that soak straight into the root system. And your plant's then going to get a maximum boost of calcium to help it recover. And some people do use eggshells, but obviously at this time, yeah, it's not really feasible to be using eggshells because they need time to decompose to release that calcium. This way, it's instantly getting into your plant. But as with everything, don't overdo it. Make sure you do water that milk down. Because obviously with temperatures being so warm, it can sour really easy. So you don't want to overdo it. So I would suggest feeding it some calcium in that form and letting that soak in just for an hour or so and then water it to dilute that a little bit. That way there's less chance of bacteria forming. But as I say, if you notice that on any of your peppers or your tomatoes, it's not the end of the line for your plant. You just need to boost it. Because obviously August is a critical time for your peppers and your tomatoes for actually ripening. So you want to be able to get as big a yield from your plants after all your work as you possibly can. So don't let one little thing like that prevent that goal. So apart from obviously your potted plants, same applies for your plants that are in the ground. Just water around the base of your plant with your milk mixture and give your big plants a little boost at the same time. And once you've finished feeding calcium to your plants, don't leave that outside, put it back in the fridge. Keep it cool so it doesn't go off. Now when it comes to these tomato plants, you can see that these plants are slowly creeping their way up the side of this greenhouse. And what tends to happen is they'll start sticking to the glass and they'll dry out or they'll get condensation and that's going to cause mold problems. So for me personally, I'd rather trace these to where the trusses are growing and if there isn't any trusses as such which there isn't really on this branch I'll take it away so I'll take that off there and I'll take that off and then I'll remove 
this old branch, even though it's got a couple of tomatoes on it, at around that level. So we've removed that, but it's only got tiny little tomatoes on it. But just below where we cut, we've got quite a few of half decent size. And then again, this one, still trying to grow little tomatoes and flowers, which I don't want. So that will, once again, I'll cut that away. Sacrifice a few tiny tomatoes to bring on the ones, again, just below. And then same with the branch on the other side as well. And then just this one last. So now you can see that plant's a bit more compact and all we need to do now is tie it together a little bit better and leave these existing fruits to ripen. It's no longer trying to climb up the roof at greenhouse like these. So I'll do exactly the same thing with this one. But this one has got a little truss of tomatoes just there. So I'll take it off there. This has nothing on it. But below a few tomatoes. So I'll take it off there. And then exactly the same removing a couple of extra branches to let more light in to help with ripening. We'll see again there, there's a few tomatoes, a truss going up, nothing much on it. So I'll take that off. So then we've got a couple of tomato plants that are a lot more compact than they were, but more importantly can now concentrate on ripening the fruits that's already on there. And growing them a little bit bigger at the same time. And the same there. So I'll just do this final one. This branch is starting to fall down as it is. So I'll take that off there. We'll pin that one back up. This one, top can go, top can go, top can go. And that's all them done. So now it's just a little bit of maintenance, securing these plants up and allowing everything to ripen on through August. So a couple of little jobs that I wanted to get done today, with it being the first week of August. And now that's done, didn't take too long, so now I don't have to do anything more with these plants for the rest of the season. Obviously, keep a check out for weeds. Give them the tomato feed once every 14 days. And just keep a check on those tomatoes for that blossom end rot. Because we know we can fix it if we catch it in time. Anyway, I've got a few more plants that I need to go and take a look at and see if they need any kind of treatment today. Apart from the feed that everything today will be getting. And if you want to see how they turn out, over the next couple of months then please just hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and we'll see you next time you all take care thank you very much for watching